you know, there's always this moment, it feels like, where you recognize, okay, we are, there's a, a conflict, there's a, there's a difference in, you know, our goals, maybe in this moment. And it's like, we can either turn it into a fight, or we can maybe turn it in the, in the other direction. And I think one thing with, that we've been learning to do with each other in particular is to try and make that first step. And it can be like the smallest little yeah. step. And what we found is that it leads to like, what we call like a softening, mm-hmm. you know, instead of this like hard, you know, conflict coming up, it's like this is that it, it paves the way for that curiosity, for that vulnerability. And, and so what we like to practice is just a little like little empathy ex- uh, exercise, which is, you know, just guessing like, hey, you know, it sounds like you're feeling really mad, you know, because I, I did this one thing or because this one thing happened, you know, is that true? And, and just that, just a little question, you could be wrong, you could be completely wrong, but then the other person might say, you know what? Yeah, you're not right there, but like, it's actually like this. And then they want to share more. They want to explain instead of trying to fight and win that argument, they're actually trying to reach mutual understanding. And so you're coming together and you're actually paving the way to kind of, you know, come back together and, and just completely uh, sidestep that argument that you were headed towards. And I'd love to just build on that a little bit. Just, you talked about giving empathy. And with NVC, empathy, empathy means the feelings and needs, guessing feelings and needs. Um, are you feeling angry because you just wanted more respect in that moment or you wanted more understanding or whatever? And um, sometimes we do it with gritted teeth. Like, you know, we're, we're angry. And it just takes one of us to like start that process, even if it's through gritted teeth. And it just takes the conversation in a different direction and, and it allows more connection and understanding and, and peace. And... I can say that in the beginning of a relationship when I was learning these skills, I would always offer that to Matt and he would kind of like after a while say like, I feel guilty. Like, you know, I'm saying all this harsh stuff and you're just giving me empathy in return. And um, I'm so sorry that I I don't have those skills myself, but thank you. Like it helps resolve. It helps us understand each other. Now he's totally leapfrogged me where he's (laughs) the one in our arguments who starts off that, that process um, as hard as it may be for him. And I'm just so grateful that, um, that we have that tool to rely on so that we can use our conflicts for understanding. Yeah, it is really, really hard to stay mad at somebody who's giving you empathy. Or is trying yeah, to give you trying empathy. to understand what's yeah. happening in your heart. It's, yeah. It must be frustrating if you really, like you're on like a little rampage and you really want to be mad occasionally, <laughs> right? You're like, darn, I can't. <laughs> but... I've, I've dealt with that before. And sometimes I mean, like, I don't want empathy right now, okay? Leave me alone. I want to be mad. And and that's part of it too. And And then you take a break and then you come back. And so... Um, yeah. And, and actually, that's that's even something that we ask each other sometimes. And because sometimes, you know, you just want to vent, you just want to like complain, you don't want to yell, you want to do something. And sometimes we'll ask each other like, well, hey, do you want empathy? You're like, no, I just I just want to yell right now. I just want you that's to listen. Okay. Or yeah, I just want you to listen. Yeah. Catch new episodes of the Mindful Mama podcast and other free resources, including the Mindful Mom Guide at MindfulMamaMentor.com. You can listen to every back catalog episode, including interviews with Dr. Dan Siegel, Janla Van Zant, Sharon Salzberg, and get meditations, join our private Facebook group, and more. Go to mindfulmamamentor.com now. I'll see you there.